Thanks for tuning in. This is Optibottom is coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Sideshow exclusive Hot Toys Iron Man 3 Mark 36 otherwise known as the Peacemaker. Now, in Iron Man 3, we saw a lot of suits. Some we barely saw, some we saw very clearly. But the Peacemaker here really wasn't one that I remember seeing. But despite that, and as a collector of these, I knew that I had to pick this up. Packaging wise, you have a really nice image here of the Peacemaker, which as you can see, has a very strong resemblance to the Red Snapper. But we'll touch on that here in a little bit. One thing that I will say though, is that it actually says that it's part of the Movie Masterpiece series. And I, and, and specifically Movie Masterpiece 258. I really don't uh, think that it should be this because it does actually use the body of the Red Snapper, which was part of their power post series so I, I don't know that's a very gray area with this guy but you got the sideshow exclusive sticker this was originally released overseas as a asia exclusive and it's available here in the u.s exclusively through sideshow but a really nice package you, you can see the nice foil look on here it is actually textured which is really nice come around the other side you got peacemaker march 36 on the back you got the various warnings and it even does say that it's part of the movie Masterpiece series, which is strange to me. For, uh, I mean, I don't think it really should be. But uh, opening this, it just slides this way. And now, uh, well, come on. There we go. Pull it up just like so. And you got a big open window that displays the figure within. Obviously, the figure's not there, but you got the Peacemaker logo here on the side. And on the back, you got the cast and crew responsible for making the figure. So again, this is definitely one of those figures that I think, uh, only real hardcore Iron Man collectors are going to be into, but I still actually really, really like it. So without further ado, let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have the Mark 36 Peacemaker armor opened up and out of its packaging. And those of you that watched my review of the Mark 35 Red Snapper, you're seeing a lot of similarities. Body-wise, it's exactly the same. The only thing that's different is he doesn't have those long claw arms. Instead, the Peacemaker here actually features the arms of the Heartbreaker suit. Now, as I said, initially that Red Snapper was part of the Power Pose line. This one has been moved into the movie Masterpiece for what reason, I don't know. I guess you could kind of say that it has a little bit more articulation in the fact that he's got standard arms but all the articulation is basically the same so again i don't necessarily think that this deserves to be in the movie masterpiece series now for his accessories uh, he does obviously come with the body but uh, much like the heartbreaker he does come with a couple additional pairs of hands he has one that's both right and left in the uh, the repulsor blast pose and then he's got a both right and left hand that has the articulated fingers one thing that's also different is that he comes with uh, more of the standard display stand it's not the power pose display stand which is a little bit smaller and doesn't quite take up as much space but you do just get this standard clear uh, pillar which you can't see that there we go the clear pillar and then a little uh, cradle here from the bottom but uh, as i said because it is the power pose when you look it does still have the hole here where the original power pose the stand could be used uh, it has a little pin that you would post in there giving them a, a flying pose or something like that now, the, the Peacemaker is designed as a riot control suit, utilizing the same design, basically, as the, the Red Snapper to give it a, a strong, powerful feel to it. One thing that they say is, is a little bit different is that in his repulsors, in addition to the standard uh, repulsor beam that he has, it also has sonic disruptors, which allows him to break up riots and things that much easier, I guess. Now, again, that's not anything that we saw in the film itself or anything of that nature. That's that's all information that you get in various video games and external sources. Uh, he does have several light up features. His chest lights up, eyes lights up, and then his hands also. You got the batteries right here. I didn't put him in there, but you guys have seen it a million times. Uh, he also does come with some stickers that uh, the instructions show uh, are meant to be put on the back. I'm not going to put them on there. I don't really particularly like stickering up my figure or anything, so uh, that's just the way it's going to be. Now, getting this out of the way, 
Here you have them next to the actual red snapper. And again, you're seeing the very similar design aesthetic here. The big difference obviously being the arms. And honestly, I shouldn't even say that this guy has less articulation, because if you remember, the, he had the shoulder joints as well. He can move here at the elbow. I mean, it's not a full range of motion. Uh, the fist actually could rotate. Uh, you had the claws here that could articulate as well. Um, it's it's not as posable as the Peacemaker, but basically you're looking at the exact same figure here. I mean, the color is different, but it still really looks nice and stands out, I think. The orange just really has a, a unique look and it really pulls me in. Now, setting him off to the side, uh, there's a lot of really nice paint detail on here. You can see some scrapes right on the actual armor. You come around here, there's a lot of little tiny uh, wear marks throughout the entire figure uh, they do a terrific job of not overdoing it but making it look realistic you come down here to the feet and the feet have a little bit more of the wear I mean I guess that kind of makes sense because he's gonna be walking around and his feet are gonna have a lot of wear on him I suppose but uh, talking about his articulation the head is on a ball joint you can see it it removes and then when you want to turn the light on it's actually on the back of the neck section here but it's on a ball joint here and then this is also on a ball joint so you get a pretty good range of motion and get that in there uh, with the actual head but it's really stiff so that when you rotate this the necks actually moving with the the head itself so there's that the shoulders here move in and out I'm actually curious if these can oh yeah they can detach so that's pretty interesting I guess if you really wanted to you could take the heartbreaker and you can put his arms on the red snapper and you'd have a, a red version of the peacemaker uh, so you do have just the standard ball joint there nice range of motion it also rotates at the upper part you got uh, one or actually double jointed elbows here but uh, you're only getting a slightly more than 90 degree bend here uh, because of the bicep right there the uh, wrist here are on ball joints so you get a nice range of motion there the waists do not move and one thing that you're seeing is much like the red snapper the torso is twisted just a little that throws some people off and i know uh, some people actually thought that that it was like busted or something like that that's actually how it's designed uh, as you can see it's the exact same as the red snappers so that just carries over so you have no articulation in the actual waist. Uh, the hips here, you can see that these flex down so you can actually bring these up about that far. They go about that far back, getting him out of the way. They uh, can pivot here side to side a little bit outward. Uh, you can move them in and out. You bend here at the knee. And again, wonderful attention to detail. You got pistons here. You got some cables here that come down as you move it. You got the piston here in the back that flexes up. Really terrific looking. These little pieces right here, they can flex forward. So that you can get a little bit more range of motion with the feet. It's on a seriously massive ball joint. I mean, you can see you can get it moving outward, you move it forward and back. Uh, so it doesn't have the same level of articulation that the movie masterpiece figures have. And that's why I think that it, it really shouldn't be in that same category. It's absolutely gorgeous looking, don't get me wrong. And you do get a little bit more. The display stand is a much nicer display stand. Uh, you also do get the extra hands, which makes sense. But I don't, I mean, this is even a more expensive of a figure. I don't necessarily see why they have to be that much of a difference in terms of price. Uh, when you have these arms and they're fairly unique to this body and they're pretty massive, I would anticipate that if you're gonna be getting this, the arms probably cost more to make than these extra hands, which have been reused previously before so uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure and it's one of those things where collectors will complain and say that Hot Toys is kind of milking the line and I can't argue that point really that much all I know is I really do enjoy these figures and I'm willing to pay the price to get them I think it looks really cool and despite the fact that it just has the heartbreakers arm and a different paint job I think it's fairly unique enough that if you're collecting all of these Iron Man figures, this should have a place in your collection. All in all, as I said, I really think that it's a nice piece to have. If you're not a huge Iron Man fan, I can absolutely understand why people would not want to pick this particular one up. If it did appear in the actual movie, it was like a split second and then that was it. But honestly, I don't even remember seeing a blur that would have looked like this. But the amount of detail that is in this is really outstanding. All the pistons and various mechanical pieces here just really look great. And if you are collecting the entire house party protocol, this one's a no-brainer. 
it just nicely captures everything that Tony Stark was basically doing in that movie. Coming up with every possible scenario that he could think of and creating a suit that would specialize in it. And basically getting repaints is not something that us Iron Man collectors are really all that unfamiliar with. So if this is something that really does interest you and screams to be in your collection, it is available right now at Sideshow Collectibles. So all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go there and you can pick this up and you can add it to your Hall of Armor today. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotamus. Don't forget that you can keep in touch with me by liking my Facebook page at facebook.com slash teambotamus and by following me over on Twitter at twitter.com slash optibotamus. Also, I'd encourage you to check out my new website at optibotamusreviews.com where you can see all my videos from the previous week, see what I have coming up for future release, and also get your very own Optibotamus t-shirt. And finally, I'd also really appreciate it, guys, that if you did like this review, don't forget to please like, comment, and share this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.